A worrying development last night as it was announced that Her Majesty the Queen had been advised by doctors to rest for two weeks due to ill health. The 95-year-old monarch is following those doctors' orders and taking a break after the medics have confirmed that she can do light duties and virtual meetings only. All her public engagements and official visits have been cancelled. Her Majesty is said to be determined to attend the remembrance ceremony at the Cenotaph on the 14th of November. For more on all of this, I'm delighted that we're able to speak to Royal Biographer Angela Levin. Angela, always a pleasure to see you. Um, she's you. Had, a, had a tough time of it lately, but although she can go to the Cenotaph, the fact that she can't go to the Festival of Remembrance will really hurt. Yes, it will. This is the most important day of her year because she was uh, in the war, she did her bit, and she's always felt um, a great um, capacity to respect um, people in the armed forces. And the fact that she can't go will really hurt her. I think, Angela, that we're getting the full picture this time because... The courtiers in the press office at the palace uh, were, were rightly and roundly told off for trying to spin a yarn when Her Majesty went into hospital for tests. Do you think that what we see is what we get and this is true this time? Well, what's difficult to know is whether they are telling us slowly, bit by bit, that she's really not well, or whether this is a woman of 75 whose brain is incredibly alert and is fighting against her body, which is 95 years old. And for the first time really in her life, her body has won and she's got to really look after herself. She had a marvelous time in Balmoral. She came back feeling great. She then did 19 engagements, which is a ridiculous number in a month for a woman of her age and, and found that, that it wasn't such a good idea. Um, but. What can happen, of course, with somebody of her age or indeed any of us, you know, one day you're all right and the next day you're really not. And maybe there's a, an important organ that's not working very well and they're trying to get her to relax. What I think was quite um, interesting was that she always walks her dogs every day. And you would think that if she was at all OK, she could have a little walk rather than a long walk. But she's not had any walks with her dog for over a week now. And I see that as quite a significant um, change in her health. We shall have to wait and see. It's very difficult, but people are panicking. People are feeling very upset. Um, but maybe that's the way they want to get it until um, if she's really not well. On the other hand, she could recover. I think the journey to go to the climate change uh, meeting is very tiring. And also there's a lot of conversation to people that is also wearing. Whereas going to the, you know, the Remembrance Day, she would just be watching. She would be seeing presumably from the inside looking outside so she can relate she, to it. As we both know, she does do it brilliantly, but having to be charming to all of those people <laughs> and yes. in a smile, it does make sense. Fi finally and quickly, um, uh, the, the, the sons and gra the, the, the children and the grandchildren have been playing a blinder, standing in for her or accompanying her. But the Duchess of Cornwall's been saying that Prince Charles is a complete workaholic. Is he going to he's going to knacker himself as well? No, he's been like that forever. He seems to have limitless energy. I spent a year with him on the run up to his 70th birthday and he just doesn't want to stop. Um, Camilla said this about him before, so nothing has changed. He's just keeping up. He's physically enormous energy and his sense of duty and he wants to make sure that his mother is being looked after is quite extraordinary. Yeah. Good. Well, power to his elbow and best wishes to Her Majesty. And thanks, Angela, for joining us.